looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing with your coins in Madden 21 right now, guys. As you guys do know, there's a four-part promo. So the way you want to use your coins is going to be a little bit different than a typical promo, a one-part promo, a one-time drop. But guys, before we do get into the video, let's make sure to give a shout-out to our Poodle shout-out for this video specifically. Now, guys... Like I said, I'm going to be shouting out people throughout the day. The 10.30 show, oh, I'm going to be shouting out the, uh, the Poodle Squad for today. But starting tomorrow, well, today the Poodle Mist is going on. So if you guys comment down below anything Christmas related, Poodle Mist related, and like and like the video, you guys are entered for the tomorrow's 30K shout out starting tomorrow for the rest until the, the 25th. But I'm still going to be doing my Poodle Squad shout outs to start the video up until we start doing the 30K tomorrow. Today's just the entry, and then tomorrow's going to start being the regular scheduled. Well, for today's, we have Garrett Lean. Shout out to me for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you, for, thank you so much for showing support. Now, remember, guys, all you got to do is comment down below Poodle Squad, of course, or Poodle Miss or anything, and like the video for a chance for the 30K starting tomorrow. Now, that's about it for that. If you need coins, head over to Mount Reserve down below. 30% off on the Christmas holiday sales. Make sure to use code Poodle for the new 30% discount we do have running now. But yeah, let's get into the video. So, first things first, guys. We have a ton of stuff that's come out already for Zero Chill, but this isn't all of it. So we have all of this, right? All the presents, the Hot Cocoa, the Derek Henry, Charles Woodson. We've got a position players. Now, would I recommend going all in on this promo just yet? Not yet, because we still have some of the Ghost Mad stuff. Now, based on the overalls that I have seen, it does seem likely like going spending coins now isn't the worst idea because in years past they've done it differently. In the past they've dropped like a 92 overall master, a 90 overall player, a 93 overall player. People pick them up for high prices. Then bam, they drop Ghost of Madden 96 over. It messes everything up because the high overalls drop and it kills the price of everything else. But this year we started off with 95 masters, and it seems like Ghost of Madden don't actually go up above 94 based on what I saw, potentially. So I have a lot more hope in retaining coin count this year and retaining coin value. Now, out of position players did just drop. Let's start with them. Are they worth picking up? I think the out of position players are worth picking up for the most part. So the Danian Tomlinson right now. Now, guys, my first thing of advice I can give you guys: do not buy cards. The moment they drop, I feel, I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory to begin with. But when he first dropped, he was like 230. He just went out to like 205. I just saw him for 190, all uh, like 195 there for a second before we refresh. You're going to find them pretty cheap. They're going to keep coming down throughout the day as more people open packs, more people hop online. Remember, things drop early in the day in Madden, so prices really don't settle for a decent amount of time in the day. Now, in terms of the zero chill players, they were picking up right now. Uh, the zero chill masters, which are going to be. Derek Henry and the Charles Woodson. You can see here 277. This is why I'm an advocate for not buying right away. If you had bought right away, you would have got Derek Henry for 450, 380, 360. He is 277, which is a great price for Derek Henry, of course. That just sold out as I clicked on it. But point being is that you can get stuff for so cheap if you just wait. Now you don't have to wait for the rest of the you don't have to wait to the end of the promo. Like if you just waited two days for Derek Henry, you save a few hundred K plus, all right? <clears throat> and it might not sound like a lot, but if you do that on three to four players, you save about four hundred K plus. And that ends up being another free player, right? I would be an advocate, like I said, Charles Woodson. A little bit more expensive, but he's definitely better than Derrick Henry in terms of, like, depth and how long you can use him for. So I, I understand the reasoning behind that. Now, is it worth, you know, going all in right now on players? Like I said, we're going to get Ghost of Madden's. They pretty much guaranteed us a Pat Mahomes, which might end up being the best quarterback in the game. we got some more stuff coming out. we got some presents that you might want to be investing in instead. So I can see where the difficulty might be investing in these players. So that's why I'm just a proponent for waiting sometimes. Like I said, if you want Charles Woodson, he's a buy. He's a guaranteed buy. You can go ahead and spend your coins on him. But I think guys like Derrick Henry may be more of a wait. Like he's a piece of buy if you think if you're if you're you know Titan Steam team or you're a Derrick Henry fan or whatever you have him already, he's a buy. But if you're low on coins, it, it really just depends, right? If you're a budget squad. I always recommend waiting towards the wait a few days into the promo. That's my thing. If you're a budget squad or no money spent, I never recommend buying day one because buying day one just costs you coins. You would have spent 400 can Henry, you lose down to 270, then something new comes out and you end up selling him, and now you lost a reduction. And before you know, you lost 150k on him for a card you barely used. I highly recommend you wait till Ghost of Madden drops uh, first before you go ahead and start investing heavily into this promo. Now moving on to um, everything else. So Ghost of Madden, I believe we'll be getting. Thursday, I believe. So come back Thursday, of course. Oh no, Friday. I think Ghost of Madden's gonna be Friday. So if we get Ghost of Madden Friday, remember that does mean 
that would be our final probably big player drops not including ltds like you know regular market players so make sure you are waiting for them before you go ahead and invest heavily into the promo because like i said you go buy charles woodson right now derrick henry and um deon sanders now deon sanders is great right let's go check him out real quick deon sanders is great him and woodson are probably the two players i'd say that you could buy regardless of anything and you'll be okay value wise now again make sure you wait it until Dion's price comes down just a little bit first because of course he's going to be a little bit expensive just by the nature of his card he was started off at 500k i said to wait yeah he's 480 now he should come down to low 400s maybe high 300s eventually i would wait maybe a little bit longer but Dion sanders is a guy you could buy and it's like okay he's glitchy enough to where it's worth it to help you out with some weekend league and stuff that's another thing, guys. If you don't plan, if you don't play online during the week, you only play weekend league. Don't buy your team uh, right away. Like, don't buy players right when they drop on like a Tuesday. If you know you can wait a day or so, since you're not gonna use them anyways. I've always been a big, uh, a big, a big, a big person who did stuff like that. Like, I would like on a on a Wednesday night, I would see this new deal and I'd have to pick him up for 700k. I'd buy him, knowing sure as hell I won't use him until Saturday weekend league or Friday weekend league. And then Friday weekend league would come along. I finally play with him and he's dropped 200k since. And I could have just waited because it was just dumb. Make sure you don't just go ahead and play to the hype and just buy the play right away because everyone else is getting him. Sometimes it's best to just wait and go ahead and just make sure that you're getting the best value. But moving on from that, guys, like Deion and Woodson are worth it right now. Uh, Henry's super cheap, but again, maybe just don't put all your coins in one basket. Because that's another thing. Like with the Thanksgiving promo, people put all their coins in one basket. They spend all their coins on Thanksgiving, and then the blitz drops, and then they're upset. Or zero chill, you spend all your coins in opposition right now today, and then go to Madden drop, like, whoa. Now, like I said, there's a different year. Ghost Mad is not going to be crazy better than everything else, but it's always one of the best aspects of the promo, so you have to keep that in mind. You may have to save coins for that. Now, here come the presents. The reason I haven't touched presents yet, guys, and it's the most simple reason, presents don't open yet. I want to see what everyone else gets. I want to see the pull rates of presents, guys. I'm telling you, that's the best thing to do. See the pull rates of presents. See how they're looking. See what's rare. See what's not rare. So when I open, I have excitement. I hate opening them and not knowing like which ones are the good ones just yet. But you can wait and see. As well as the biggest thing here is I don't want to go spend, you know, a million coins and presents and then and Randy Moss comes out, right? And I need, oh man, I need a million coins now. Or LTD Mahomes comes out and I need 800k for that. Like, I want to wait. So once Ghost of Madden drops on Friday, I'll be ready to go in and see what I want here. Because like I said, once Ghost of Madden drops on Friday, I'll be like, okay, so there's a Mahomes. I need him. Subtract 500k. I need the Dion. That's another 400. I have a million left. Okay, now I now or 800k left. Now I can go in on the presents, right? But you don't want to go. You don't want to do is go 100, you know, million coins deep into presents. Now you can't get that value back on. So whenever they start to all open, especially your bigger ones, I mean, it opens like around Christmas. Now you're stuck waiting. Not to mention, you have to then go ahead and wait for those other players that you want to play with for weekend league, right? So, I would recommend you wait on the presents until the earliest opening date, which I don't know what the earliest opening date is, but you want to start opening before that day. So you make sure to take advantage and not overspend or don't miss out on some presents that you could have gotten, obviously, as well. So once you know, once we know what that day is, it, it, you definitely know already. If you guys have any idea of what that is, comment it down below. Once we get to that minimum date, you can go ahead and start opening up. I'm just waiting until Friday. Like I said, the Ghost of Maddens are important to me. Um, they're usually the best ones. We've had Steve Young's in the past, Randy Mosses, Tim Browns, Antonio Browns, J.J. Watts, and so much more. There's just so much that can come out of that promo. And you say Quan. That's pretty much why I've been waiting for the most part. But you guys don't have to wait. It's just my recommendation. Of course, everything in this video is opinionated. It's it's biased to what I think. Uh, so you don't have to take it, you know, for you don't have to take it as an exact science, but it's just kind of my recommendation. I'm telling you guys, I just kinda of know how this stuff usually goes. Same thing with team of the year, right? Anyone who knows about team of the year, the first day we get the worst players, we get, like the special teams. People like to spend a lot of money on them because it's the first day of team of the year. And then we get the later ones and they're 97 overalls. I'm like, whoa, whoa, I want that instead. And now it's like, now you got to sell the other cards back because everyone else is thinking like you, you already lost money. But yeah, like I said, I would recommend, I think Dion and Charles Woodson are, are pickable, pickable guys because they're debt positions. They're not crazy expensive. So regardless of the situation, I feel like you're getting a pretty good value. Now, like I said, in terms of everything else, you may want to wait a little bit longer because Ghost of Madden, it drops Friday, guys. Just wait two days, feel it out. Like, I'm telling you, if they drop Mahomes, they drop some crazy you guys want, you're probably going to be upset that you didn't wait a few more days with your coins because not everyone has coins sitting around. Like, even I have 1.6, and that's really not that much. That would be, let's say I picked up Woodson, Henry, and Dion. That'd be just about all my coins right there. Just about all of it gone. I'd probably have like 400, 300k left. And then, again, that's not horrible, but I'd still be screwed over because then... I have to resell them back to the other stuff. And of course, Dion and all those guys will drop once all the Coast of Madden stuff comes out. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. 
that covers all the coin stuff I did want to go over there. There's really not much else in terms of what I think you should be focusing on. Of course, the market's changing rapidly. If you guys want old promo stuff, that's fine. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a proponent for that. If you guys want to get old promo stuff, like cards you couldn't afford before, like the old Dion, or if you want to go ahead and get like some the 50 players, that's all fine, honestly, because that stuff's super cheap right now because of all the new cards coming out. You can get a great deal on a lot of stuff right now. Like Leroy Salmon, let's just say Ray Lewis. A lot of stuff's really cheap. You want to take advantage of that, that's fine. Those are all good values. But in terms of the newer cards, maybe wait because that's where all the hype is right now. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys need coins, head over to Mount Reserve. Take advantage of the 30% off holiday discounts. Use code Poodle at checkout. And of course, make sure to comment down below something Christmas related and like the video. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.